हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू अवर यूट्यूब चैनल श्री स्वामीनायन फिजियोथेरापी कॉलेज राणीप अहमदाबाद आई डॉक्टर हिना परमार मास्टर्स इन कार्डियो पलमोनरी ब्रांच लेक्चरर एट श्री स्वामीनायन फिजियोथेरापी कॉलेज अहमदाबाद टुडे अवर टॉपिक इज पॉजिटिव एक्सपिरेटरी प्रेशर डिवाइजेस सो फॉर इंट्रोडक्शन द डेवलपमेंट इन utilization of positive expiratory pressure breathing came about in 1980s in denmark and now it's widely useful for all over the world one of the most frequently prescribed airway clearance therapy options for patient with chronic lung conditions or decreased lung volumes are positive expiratory pressure therapy devices that is pep devices so pep therapy involves active expiration against a fixed orifice flow register or a variable orifice threshold register which are capable of developing expiratory pressure of 10 to 20 cm per h2o pep therapy helps to move secretions into a larger airways by providing a constant back pressure that prevents the air collapse during expiration and the airway behind the mucus fills via collateral ventilation the therapy which is administered by breathing through a special device will helps to first air get behind that mucus then after mucus moves from lungs and airways wall and then after the hold airways open for longer durations so with the help of pep devices we can move the mucus and open the airways which are already collapsed so we are the collateral ventilation we can open the airways for a longer duration of the time a subsequent half or fet maneuver that is force expiratory therapy maneuvers may allow the patient to generate the flow which needed to expel mucus from the blocked airway so after the use of pep therapy devices we have to teach patient for huffing or coughing maneuvers so for expel the mucus we have see the mechanism of pep therapy device so the pep therapy device will increase the pressure is transmitted to the airways which creating a back pressure stenting them during the exhalation so this this will prevent premature airway closure and reducing gas trapping so with the pep therapy device we create a back pressure during the expiration which will prevent the airway closure and reduce the gas trapping gas trapping is a air trapping so pep therapy device promotes collateral ventilation in surrounding alveoli and allowing pressure to build up distal to the obstruction then after airway retains from the collapsing and give prolonged expiratory flow so usually in obstructive diseases expiratory flow will be reduced so with the help of pep therapy device we can give the prolonged expiratory flow to that patient effective airway clearance promote movement of the mucus proximally so mucus can clear with the main airways now for the indications for pep devices so first is acute and chronic respiratory failures or respiratory diseases second is neurological or musculoskeletal dysfunctions old age and immobility so with the old age and immobility long term for immobility secretion will be accumulate in the lungs to increase the lung volume by increasing functional residual capacity and tidal volume reduce hyperinflation that is air trapping mainly occur in emphysema bronchitis and asthma like diseases 
Fourth is improved airway clearance that is mainly occur in cystic fibrosis, chronic bronchitis and bronchoactysis. So with the use of PEP devices we can reduce hyperinflation. So we can reduce air trapping and also improve the airway clearance. Then after indication, last indication is to maximize the delivery of bronchodilator in patient receiving bronchial hygiene therapy. So with the help of PEP devices, we can increase the effectiveness of bronchodilator therapy also. Now for the relative contraindications for PEP devices are untreated pneumothorax. So pneumothorax is air accumulation in pleural cavity. Okay, so untreated pneumothorax, we can't use PEP devices. Then after intracranial pressure will increase more than 20 mmHg. So increased intracranial pressure, we can't use PEP devices. Then after active hemoptysis, hemoptysis means blood in a sputum, recent trauma or surgery to skull, face, mouth or esophagus because recent trauma of these structures will further damage with the PEP devices. So we can't use such devices in this fracture or trauma cases. Patient with acute asthma attack or acute worsening of chronic obstructive pulmonary disease that is COPD who are unable to tolerate increased work of breathing because with the PEP devices we have to patient to do more work for breathing. So acute attack in the acute attack cases we can't use PEP devices. Then after acute sinusitis or epistasis. Epistasis means nose from the blood. So we can't use PEP devices in such case. Now, tympanic membrane rupture or other known to suspected inner ear pathology. So, with the patient with the inner ear pathology, we can't use PEP devices because it, because it will increase the pressure in the sinusitis or inner airways. Then after nausea. So, these are the mainly contraindications for PEP devices. Now, we will see different PEP devices. So, we have include here four pep devices first is pep bottle second is acapella third is the sacred and fourth is the rc cornet right so we will see the first is pep bottle so the pep bottle is a very common threshold dependent system is a pep bottle or bubble pep device that consists a bottle filled with the predetermined quantity of water in which tube that draws from the bottom right so with the help of pep bottle we can we can use a uh, empty bottle filled with the water predetermined quantity of water and added the straw or tube inside the bottle so with these PEP devices, patient have to blow into the tube and has to overcome that pressure opposed by the level of water until the bubbles are produced. So this is the bubble PEP devices. We can use the empty bottle filled with the predetermined water and add the test, add the tube inside that bottle. Patient have to blow inside the bottle and produce a bubbles so bubble pep device is very useful technique for the child taste physiotherapy <clears throat> we can mainly use with the child because child will have fun as well as taste clearance right so we can see here child have to put that, that tube inside the mouth and just have to produce the bubbles inside the bottle now second one is acapella the acapella is the another form of oxalating pep devices which uses a counterweighted plus and magnet create airflow oscillations so the acapella is choice of airway clearance is used to help remove mucus from the airways so the device may be used after taking a short acting inhaled bronchodilator medicine. 
सो द मेडिकेशन हेल्प्स टू ओपन द एयरवे टू मेक द टेक्निक मोर इफेक्टिवली राइट सो विद द हेल्प ऑफ एक पहला डिवाइस वी कैन यूज द वी कैन मोर इफेक्टिवनेस of bronchodilator medications and after the medication we can use the acapella or to more to get more effectiveness of acapella so this is the mainly mechanism of acapella patient have to breathe through the nose and expel the all air into the acapella so acapella will provide the resistance and there is a counter weighted plug which produce the vibration inside the airways patient can use the acapella in every con every uh, positions so the acapella is combine the benefit of both pap therapy and airway vibration therapy to mobilize the pulmonary secretions and can be used in any position a loving patient to move freely and like sitting standing or recline position patient have to take 6 to 8 breaths continuously then after take one or two breath deeper breath and do more active expiration then followed huffing and coughing technique it is mainly used for 10 to 15 minutes so with the help of a capella patient have to just sit upright and take 6 to 8 breaths continuously then after one deeper breath and then more active expiration into the device then after following huffing and coughing to expel the mucus it improves clearance of secretions is easier to tolerate than the chest physiotherapy and take less than half the time of conventional chest physiotherapy sessions and facilitate opening of airways in patient with the lung disease the secretory problems such as copd asthma and cystic fibrosis thank you everyone for watching this video please like share and subscribe our youtube channel and if any doubts please do comment on comment box thank you